So I know you worked as an advisor at the World Trade Organization, and I, I think one thing that's interesting to me is how might that organization evolve and change, especially as the private sector's role in development increases? What do you, what do you think they should be doing? What could they do differently? How do you think their role might change? I think the World Trade Organization is an interesting body because it really is run by members. Members decide which way to go. Members decide what is relevant. I think until conversations on the Doha round are resolved, I think they'll continue to be stalled. But what is happening now, especially in the lead up to the WTO ministerial that will take place in Nairobi later this year, is there's a lot of conversation on how to really implement trade facilitation. How can we get goods across borders, especially in the African context? The markets are very small. So the question is, how can we ensure that there are fewer barriers so that goods are no longer trying to enter the European and the American markets, but goods from Kenya can go to Congo Brazzaville, can go to Burkina Faso. And I think in having this conversation, the scope and the mandate of WTO is being pushed because it's not only purely goods, it's the question of infrastructure, it's the question of energy. And so I think now, finally, there's a more holistic development debate on how to really facilitate trade above and beyond policies, but practically there's more infrastructure that's needed. And those conversations are pushing governments to look at investment in a different way, and they're looking for more investment partners as well as aid partners that are going to provide a holistic approach to development and investment.